What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Just Give Love. I'm back with another video. I uh, hope everybody's doing good out there. As always, just want to start with, you know, my appreciation for the views, for the likes. And I've been getting a few new comments, which has been blowing me away, making my day, like, <laughs> blowing everything else out the way. Uh, anyway, so with that being said, y'all, please be sure to like and subscribe and subscribe. Please subscribe out of all of the subscriptions that you're going to be subscribed. All the people that you are subscribed to, I can promise you that they're not going to appreciate and love you like I do. And that's a promise on a promise on a promise that, you know, you're appreciated over here. <laughs> Y'all, I wanted to come here um, today and talk about this whole thing that I just really caught on the shade room a few hours, about two hours ago. Um, if you don't know, Delicious posted you don't know who delicious is she was one of the girls off of flavor flav you know that went on the show to kind of better herself put her in the spotlight etc she really wasn't looking for love but she was the winner of flavor of love season two i was a really big fan of delicious until she until she just started being like all the other robots, you know? And I'm not saying, you know, robots as in like, you know, me trying to shit on everybody. But I'm saying robots as in all of these girls are doing the same thing. Then you start hearing about her whole tactics. And it's just like, man, like she was a fan favorite. So to kind of see her go down that path of, you know, always wanting, you know, the thirsty attention, which I get it. You know, let me shut up because, you know, if somebody want to make me a sex symbol, who knows in the future what I might be doing. But I'm not going to be doing that. For one, it's more so, you know, if you got a man out there at the end of the day, like I get it. Some men are secure, so they don't care. They love the flaunt and everything like that. But usually those are the men who are cheating. Like say so they don't care if the girl, you know, busting it wide open on the gram. But in a lot of successful relationships and a lot of even, you know, now on social media, you see a lot of the successful, and I say that because, you know, you never really know. But from, you know, the couples that have, you know, gone a while, the wife is not constantly on there, you know, doing the butt pigs or the almost, you know, completely naked pigs if she's not a celebrity or whatever. Now, granted, it works out for some people. So I'm not, you know, crapping on the whole thing because it does work for some, but I will say a small group of people. But... Anyway, she kind of lost me as a fan when she started doing her, you know, thought crap. And I didn't see her that way. You know, when I originally saw her, I thought that she was a serious woman, a beautiful, you know, big booty woman. Now, I loved her. I was going crazy when I saw her in that lollipop video. So it's not that I was mad at her becoming a vixen. I just, you know, it was the other stuff that was included about, you know, the stuff that she was doing on the whatever you know that's not my whatever because i wasn't there it's just you know stories that i'm kind of hitting the internet and rumors that are going around so I, it could be false however it changed my perspective of her oh y'all i'm giving y'all a deep voice right now i got a little cold but i'm noticing like i'm giving marvin from the temptations right now but yeah i'm dealing with a little cold right now i slept with the window open but um <laughs> rewind back to my point um anyways if you don't know what's going on please run up to the shade room and pretty much i need a lot of places but you know i mostly get all of my stuff from the shade room um until i can start you know getting the tea myself but if you go on over to the shade room um and it looks like delicious you know posted a cryptic message that has everybody kind of talking about okay well is she talking about her husband i'm going to give you my thoughts so if you go she posted a picture it's really of herself in like a blouse or whatever to me it honestly looks like she's on a movie set or something or a tv show but the post itself said i, I married a narcissist who is a complete liar and a cheat i'm finally ready to speak my truth stay tuned gloves off so my opinion on that my first thing was due to the picture she posted of herself it could be you know an attention drawer or whatever because she may be doing a project or something and the person that she's married to in the film might be whatever so that could be one thing that was kind of in a way solid because you know these Z-list celebrities, they do a lot to kind of like, at the end of the day, anything negative or good, that's going to help them be in the spotlight to be able to, you know, kind of get another bag for a few more months or another year or whatever. So I get it. So that was my first thought. Boom. But she's now posting 
encouraging messages that women are sending to her i only saw about three or four because if you go to the comments a lot of people are saying that this is this is that this was a part of her plan all along because i'm not gonna lie when they first got together she's married to raymond santana he's a part of the you know the kids who got in new york they got accused of raping a woman it was false it was actually done by a white man who later confessed However, he served jail time and they collectively won um, a settlement where each of them collected millions, maybe, you know, about two million each. I don't know, um, but they collectively won a settlement and it was six boys, I think. And the settlement was for like maybe 13,000. So they split that. Um, anyways, he after the movie that came out um with you know with them i can't it's it's not at the top of my head honestly i couldn't well, it was a series i honestly couldn't watch it me and my um friend my ex at the time we were discussing how we didn't want to watch it on purpose because it was going to piss us off and just mess up the mood so we just you know decided not to even you know go there so i have never i've not seen the movie or uh, the series or whatever but she married um raymond santana he is, you know, I thought that it was an odd mixture because like based on some of the guys that she's previously dated and mind you, this one, before she got with him, she was foaming like on the internet, embarrassing herself, trying to get to Shannon Sharp, you know, the ex NFL player, Chocolate Thunder, Steel Bill or whatever he's on the show, you know, who's a skip, be like, skip, 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 him. She was going in being uh the aggressor in like he's so fine you know posting pictures of like the, it was just it was super weird it's like she threw it out there and he kept ignoring it it was extremely embarrassing on my part but she kept going she kept going in it even though he you know he he ignored literally every single advancement that she threw at him like he ignored it so and then one week later She's met the man of her dreams. It didn't come off right because it wasn't right. Something, it was like she just wanted that wife title to me. And in the celebrity pool, that was kind of drying up for her. Because let's be real, at the end of the day, no matter what you do in life, at some point, you were the young kid that came in and pushed that person out. Another young, it's, it's going to be a forever cycle of somebody younger or somebody fresh pushing you out of that, what you was like at the end of the day. Or it could be, you know, just, you know, you going on to the father, you know, like at the end of the day, Anna Wintour would not be doing Vogue forever. It's impossible. She can't. She just can't. Unless she got the queens, you know, people as medical doctors or whatever, because they be living forever. Like, but at least they'll hunt it. But somebody eventually is going to take over. Like, it's just, it's always a cycle, especially with a company that's been around for years and years and years and years and years. Like, somebody's going to always. So, with, even with these Instagram models, Instagram thighs, Instagram whatever. The girls now that are idolizing these girls eventually will come and take the place, you know, because ain't nothing better than some young, you know, fresh face. So it is the cycle. It is what it is. So at the end of the day, she was, you know, drawing up because Delicious is over 40 like she but she looks great. Like she looks good. Like, girl, give me that stomach recipe. But at the end of the day, she's still, you know, young. See, going to cancel out. Oh, see. Most of the time. Now, you have some young, you know, you have some young men, they were rather the older versus the younger. So, you know, each side has its advantage, you know. So, I'm not, I'm not picking side because I, I one day want to be, you know, one of those, you know, old women with the, you know, it is what it is. But a lot of people are pretty much going in on this whole thing saying that this is what she wanted. This was the plan all along for her to get some type of way to separate herself from him so she can go back to, you know, thotting and bopping, but at the same time, getting a portion of his money. Now, I'm I'm pretty sure I would think that he was smart enough to get a prenup or whatever, but sometimes these men are super stupid 
I'm not saying it in a negative way to the smart men who think rationally, to the men who don't want to be used, but the men who go into a situation that has so many red flags and they ignore it, you know, we do it too as women or whatever. However, just like everything else in the world, men, we put y'all on a higher pedestal than us. Just like the world, you know, like when men come first, so y'all should be a little bit more smart, you know, in a situation of getting played. But um, I'm going to, you know, keep going, looking in on this situation because right now it's 50% that is fake and she just want to get some attention or it's real. And like y'all said, her plan is kind of crumble. Her plan is coming into, you know, the light as far as like, you know, this is what she wanted. She wanted him to for the money and now she want to get a little piece of that and skedaddle or whatever, like get back to doing the whole thing or whatever. But nobody is shocked like i see most of the comments of nobody is shocked that this is happening or whatever but if he's one of those dumb dumbs who and like i said i said this in three videos if he's a lollipop that wanted to be lit girl lick um anyways y'all again i appreciate the views i appreciate the likes and if you have the time just comment let me know if i'm being a hater let me know if you know i'm speaking fact like you agree disagree whatever any type of engagement is going to be appreciated and again be sure to like and subscribe i don't all the people you subscribe to they're not going to love and appreciate you like i do so with that being said have a good rest of your day hope blessing hits you out the way talk to y'all later have a